Republicans stood and cheered while Democrats sat in silence as reaction to the President's State of the Union address split down party lines. Nowhere was this clearer than in his explanation of the Iran-Contra scandal, and senators from New England were no different. Well, I think he made a good speech. Uh, he was forceful, he looked well, uh, and he said about the things you'd expect. I wasn't surprised by it. He took responsibility for the mistakes that may have been made in Iran, and I don't know what more you can uh, do. The best thing the president uh, could have done would have been simply have told the truth, laid out exactly why we traded arms for hostages, why we paid ransom to a terrorist nation like Iran. He didn't do that. Reagan said he regretted the mistake in Iran because it didn't work, but he defended the initiative and said it was time now to look ahead. Much is at stake here, and the nation and the world are watching to see if we go forward together in the national interest or if we let partisanship weaken us. But it may not be that easy. I'm afraid that partisanship indicates that uh, the Democrats will keep this Iran issue alive as long as they can. But Warren Rudman is on the Senate Select Committee investigating the Iran-Contra scandal. He welcomes the competitive spirit. This is not uh, uh, tea and uh, cracker society. It's the United States Congress, and it gets a little rough sometimes. But I thought the president handled it very well. Opinions on the president's performance differ, but one thing is clear. Ronald Reagan's last two years in office will most likely be his toughest, overshadowed by an Iran-Contra crisis that just won't go away. Tom Grenius, News 31, Washington.